thought I'd reach out to you for my never-ending lockdown in Sydney and share with you some of the uh, best books that I've read recently written by Australian women. So I've been catching up on my reading after having delivered my own manuscript and um, I've really been enjoying uh, you know, reading for pleasure again and catching up with some of the books that have been published in the past year or so. The first book I'd like to talk about is The Last Days of the Romanov Dancers by Kerry Turner. Uh, it's, it says, a powerful novel of revolution, passion and just how much two people will sacrifice. It's set in the Imperial Russian Ballet um, in Petrograd just before the outbreak of the Russian Revolution. Um, it's about um, a dancer who has um, worked her way up from abject poverty to being one of the top ballerinas um, in Russia. But um, the cost for that is that she needs a patron, a sponsor, um, who has, you know, really complete control over her body and her life and can sell her on to another patron whenever he wants. Um, Valentina uh, meets another young um, dancer and falls in love with him, but it seems impossible that they could ever be together. And this story of impossible love is set against the background of um, all the tensions um, in, you know, with, with the Tsar and the Romanov family before the Russian Revolution. I really loved it. I loved it. Great book. Um, then I have also read uh, Fury by Catherine Heyman, um, which is just an extraordinary memoir of um, overcoming um, sexual violence and, um, you know, renewing yourself through uh, nature and the ocean. Um, it's beautifully, beautifully written, probably one of the best books I've read, I've read this year. And um, it just rings so true. I don't think there's a woman alive who hasn't had some of these experiences that Catherine has had, sadly. Um, it's absolutely beautiful book. Um, it's, it, it's described in the back cover as a roadmap of recovery and transformation. This is the story of becoming heroic in a culture which doesn't see which doesn't see heroism in the shape of a girl. I can really recommend this. I think it's the memoir of the year. And um, this one, which is absolutely delightful, is um, Only Happiness Here in Search of Elizabeth von Arnhem by Gabriel Carey. Um, this is also a memoir, but a, a very different one. It's what I would call a biblio memoir. So it's um, Gabriel Carey's experience of reading the works of Elizabeth von Arnhem and then using them as a template to find out how to live with contentment and serenity and happiness in this world. For you, um, for those of you who don't know, Elizabeth von Arnhem uh, was an Australian-born writer. She went to Europe as a teenager and then um, met and married a German count. And she wrote an extraordinarily beautiful book, which I love, called Elizabeth and Her German Garden. Um, this would have been in the first part of the 20th century. Um, it's, it's, um, it's funny, it's poignant, it's all about the importance of um, beauty and nature in our lives. Um, and it became an absolute uh, publishing sensation. And Elizabeth von Arnold went on and wrote many other books, including the gorgeous Enchanted April about um, four women who go to Italy and hire a castle in Portofino for a month and have their lives um, transformed. Um, read Elizabeth von Arnhem, Australian born despite the name, and then um, enjoy this book. It honestly was um, the best Sunday reading I've had for a while because it's all about um, daring to be happy. Thank you so much for joining me for my little reading uh, update. I hope that you are all um, discovering wonderful new books as well. Don't forget to share them with me. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for joining us. And if you don't want to miss any of our shows, just press the subscribe button at the bottom of our YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about our fantastic giveaways, or about any of our delicious recipes, or book news, views, and reviews, then just go to our website at wordofmouthtv.com.au. See, See you next time! time.